Hi there, I'm Lauren Pastrana. It's Monday, January 1st. Let's get a check on your travel forecast with meteorologist Liz Horton. Well, wet in the southeast over Florida, especially as that frontal boundary has come on through and temperatures will be cooling as well. 30s out there for most of the southeast. 50s, though, in Tampa getting much colder in the northeast. Look at these temperatures, 20s and teens out there from Cleveland all the way down around to Philadelphia and D.C. Big area of high pressure continues to dominate the forecast in the middle part of the country. Of course, these are afternoon highs in the teens. Chicago single digits there. Morning wind chills once again below zero. Ouch, not feeling good. At least the Pacific Northwest, not quite as bad. No systems impacting you. You'll see 30s and 40s out there and much more tolerable temperatures as you go ahead towards Los Angeles in the 60s and Phoenix in the 70s. Lauren? All right, Liz, thank you. Now, what's moving you to be healthy and happy? We know how tough it can be to work exercise and fitness into your daily lives, and that's why every Monday on CBS 4 News, we're highlighting stories about what's moving you. Today, anchor Eugene Ramirez introduces us to a group of seniors who are finding longevity and friendship in free group fitness programs. You just can't help but move to the music at the Senior Center at Charles Hadley Park in Miami. Through CBS 4's Moving You campaign, I met Erlene Maurice. I joined her and other seniors age 50 and older for their three times a week fitness class. And let me tell you, it's no joke. Erlene's been coming here for 13 years. I was, you know, had back surgery and the doctor told me that I had to, you know, continually move. And so that, that's why I started coming here and to keep active and keep my bones from being stiff. The class starts with a series of stretches. You know, he have us to stretch before we do any exercise. He said he didn't want to, you know, have cramps or bones aching. Then fitness instructor Greg Dean works the group through a series of arm, leg, and core exercises. There's some light cardio too. His goal is to give them a new outlook on life later in life. I'm looking for longevity, and I know exercise is the key, diet, exercising, and not being lonely, being around somebody else, that helps enhance your life and also helps motivate you to make you keep going. The program started back in 1990. 90-year-old Mary McRae was there. I heard you were in the original class. Yeah. <laughs> why, do you, why do you keep coming back? It's something about this man. <laughs> this man and all these people, says Erlene. We all come and have a good time. We're a big family here. You know, not doing anything, you'd be depressed. So when you out among people, you talk, you socialize. But make no mistake about it, this senior fitness is serious business. Does it get tough sometimes, the workout? Yeah, when you hurt. <laughs> <laughs> After, you know, you don't be done dead it in a few days and you come back and, you know, it's a little rough on you. And one of my favorite things about this whole program is the music. Can you hear it? It's even got people singing here because, of course, if you can move, you can dance. Reporting at Hadley Park in Miami, I'm Eugene Ramirez, CBS 4 News. The senior fitness class at Hadley Park is every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. The city of Miami offers free senior fitness classes at multiple locations. Find a link for more information on cbsmiami.com slash moving you. And CBS4 wants to know what's moving you. Email us at moving you at cbsmiami.com. And to see all of our moving you stories, just go to cbsmiami.com slash moving you. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Lauren Pastrana. And remember, we're always on at cbsmiami.com. Have a great day.